Hey guys, this is Aditya from the Zero Seller Smart Trading. Welcome to another weekly gold forecast. Uh, so uh, let's understand what happened uh, previous week before uh, our plan and roadmap for the upcoming week. Uh, so after constant three high bullish momentum weeks, now uh, we can see that on the weekly gold have closed with a very indecisive uh, momentum okay uh, it did not manage to break the 2685 high that was created and uh, very much now if you can see that uh, neither the high or uh, uh, the low has been taken out of the previous week so to have a better clarity if you look on the daily time frame we can see gold is now very much showing a bullish sideways. But there is something that uh, what I'm observing right now. So we will uh, plan our uh, trade setups and, uh, you know, future levels based on that. So first thing first, what we're going to do is we're going to mark a range. So we're going to start from the 2685 high and we're going to consider this low which is uh, 2625 okay so now if we once we have our range uh, uh, marked now we have a better idea what to uh, observe and uh, you know what not to expect so now what I'm going to do uh, since we do not uh, we do have a you know a bearish break of structure uh, followed by an SBR here uh, but at the same time, uh, uh, gold did not have break below the support. So I'm going to consider the daily volume level here. And at the same time, I'm going to mark the resistance as well. Okay, so now maybe just keep it shorter so it will be easier to mark it out, to refine it. Okay, so now we have our structure marked. We will switch to the 4R. And now we're going to refine and see. So now what do we see here? A very zigzag sideways momentum, which uh, if we look here, we had uh, we have a couple of uh, bearish impulse break. And then finally, uh, I think this was on a Friday, we can see one uh, bullish momentum, but then it turned into a SBR. So we have more of a bearish structure formation here. But right now, gold is bouncing between a support and resistance, which is uh, pretty much uh, the same kind of formation that gold, you know, uh, always do before the breakout. Now, for how long, even you can see that this 2531 area, pretty much this kind of formation was happening. Uh, and now the only thing that we need to uh, see for how long uh, these bouncings are going to continue, how long this ping pong will remain on a, higher time frame before we see a breakout so now uh, if we look uh, let's let's refine the uh, areas on h4 uh, now what i prefer that this is going to be a resistance area on h4 that gold is haven't break you can see that this there's a multiple retest of this uh, dynamic volume zone here and the same way uh, what I'm looking at here, if you see that this area, which is acting as a support, um, I look, I think this is going to be the structure of this support. For in order uh, to go to break, gold must uh, break below this. You know, this this area has to be uh, turned into a flipped area. Then we could consider something. Okay, then we can consider a very bearish momentum. Uh, and uh, expect gold to drop but uh, we need to identify what are the possible areas that gold, gold could go so for that we'll go on a daily and uh, let's uh, let's look for in a, in a all, all possible uh, all possibilities so first what i'm going to do i'm going to mark the bearish area so if i mark the bearish area and if i switch to 4r that lead us let me clear this out okay so now that leads us to a very choppy range here. Now you can see that if I if I consider the uh, the uh, the bullish daily uh, 
zone uh, then we have this formation now you can see that we have a very clear zone uh, okay so we have a very clear zone here that we can means the gold need to break the test uh, or if gold wants to uh, continue moving further then that too uh, we can see let me see so where we can go uh, if we can uh, expect i think that's going to be 2700 Okay, let's just consider this as a whole range. Now, this is the range we need a break above. Okay, now we need a break. Now, why I'm not consider considering this? Why I'm not considering the 2685? Because see, that's the liquidity area. But uh, uh, even if we consider that, uh, we have, I think this will make more sense. Okay. So now, if, if, why I'm not considering the 2685? Because we have new POI inside, which is here on 2675. So if the price break above this 2675, then we have a more possibility that, uh, you know, the gold uh, will try to continue a formation like this. Okay, so this is the buy side formation. And of course, for the sell side, gold have to give a closing below, retest, and come back to the 2600 area. So this is, a, if we consider the sell side block, uh, this is these are the levels that uh, uh, we get where the gold uh, will make, uh, you know, its next move. So I'm going to mark this as the new POI, and we have the, so now you can see a clean uh, area that we have. So even if I remove the range and uh, if I remove the probabilities, then now you can see that we have this clear range and we just simply need a pattern formation. Okay. So now we have a pattern formation. To break the 2630. Uh, this uh, uh, support area gold could drop all the way back to the 2600. If gold break above the 2675, then we can see gold more reaching to the 2700 mark. But that is if we're considering uh, the bearish uh, structure. If we consider the support and if we switch to uh, the level, what do we get here? Again, we get a pretty much same level. Okay, so now let me, let's see here. If I consider this daily support, then what do we see here? It's very simple. You can, you can just see that we are getting the same kind of level. Okay, we are getting the same kind of level, which means we need to break. Okay, so we have our clear uh, support uh, and resistance area. But right now, in order to reach any of these levels, gold must break let me let's not use this let's so we're going to have this h1 we're going to mark this as h4 okay now we have our range now these these are the two levels that gold needs to be broken now if we consider uh, the point of balance for uh, on a weekly Right now we are sideways. You can see that price is moving at the point of balance area. Okay, so which means price is still very choppy. So on a, on a high time frame we are sideways. On a high time frame gold is moving sideways, which is, which is an indication that we are going to see a big break very soon. We can see a manipulation, and then we can see a, you know a directional move. Uh, but to have uh, the clear levels, 
uh, mark. So I'm going to consider the cell side since that is what uh, is working actively right now. So I'm going to consider that area to for us to have our range. Now, where I'm expecting a uh, goal to head next week, I'm expecting goal to reach the 2700 mark. But for that goal must first break the 2675 area. Goal must break the 26 so we 2675 area, take out the 2685 liquidity, then we could see a correction and a continuation. So this is going to be our buy side trade plan. For a sell side, I would I would still want to see gold to break below the level of this 2625. This 262520, this is this area I want to be broken. Till this is not broken, uh, it's going to be a little difficult to say that gold is turning bullish or uh, bearish. So I want to see a SBR of this level. Then I want to see a retest uh, to confirm that we have a breakout and we can then target gold to the next level all the way down to 2550. The first target going to be the 2600. So uh, that's uh, the level I'm expecting. That's going to be a sell side target. For a buy side target, we are expecting gold to break above the 2675, take out the liquidity of 2685, and then eventually reach and hit the 2700 mark. So since we are inside the range, both of these uh, are possible. Now uh, we go, we need to look at the lower time frame to understand um, which have more probability. Okay, which have more probability. So if I consider the Friday candle, then we'll see what we have. Now see, so we have more clear view right now so it should help you understand that how the pattern formation should happen here now so if you consider the friday candle then we have we are right now uh, at the uh, pob and we need a break above this retest continuation break retest continuation so this is going to be our breakout plan okay unless Otherwise, if you don't see the breakout, our primary trade will be looking for a sell at 267075 area, looking for a buy at 263035 area. Okay, 3530 area. So this, this is going to be our buy side. We're going to look for a buy trades. Unless we get a breakout, we're going to look for a sell trade at 267075 unless we see a breakout. Okay, so the breakdown and breakout is uh, important. Till it's not happening, we're going to consider these two levels. We do not know for how long the range is going to continue. Okay, so till the breakout is not happening, till the, we can we don't see a impulsive break uh, with the continuation. We need to see a internal structure break inside of this uh, H4 areas, and only then we can consider that we have a breakout. Till the breakout is not happening, this is going to be our plan one, which is looking for sell setups at 267075 looking for buy setup from 263530 uh, okay so this is going to be uh, looking for a buy setup if we see a break then we're going to look for a retest and then we're going to look for a continuation okay so first we are looking for a reversal setups if we see a breakout con a confirmation then we're going to look for a continuation setup Okay, so if we switch this to 1 hour, then what do we get here? So if you look at the 1 hour, what happened uh, on the NFP is very clear. We can see that, uh, let me zoom out. So the gold is failing to break this resistance. Why? Because this is the POI, this is the POI, this is the POI. Now you can see that we got our structure. So this is the bearish zone structure, 2675. Okay, if we look on the lower time frame, we need a break. Come, then we need to look for a continuation. We need to see what kind of confirmation do we get here. 
and then we can look for a continuation that is after the breakout if the breakout doesn't happen then we going to look for a sell side confirmations and we look for a sell setup similarly we have a buy structure so let me mark the buy structure so here we want we have a buy structure which is not being retested gold only taking this structure okay so now similarly when the gold will head back come down to this 26 uh, 3530 area we going to look for lower time confirmations to buy unless we see a breakout then we going to look for a retest and look for a continuation okay similarly when the gold will reach to the 2670 area we going to look for the lower time frame confirmations to sell if breakout then we going to wait for retest and we going to look for a continuation okay so this is going to be our plan uh, from monday onward till this internal structures are intact we are going to focus on uh, you know the reversal pattern so here you need to make sure that these levels are well intact you can see that we have a strong support area here we got a liquidity so i think there is a possibility gold would come down once more to take out the liquidity okay so whichever it wants to head i feel like these two due liquidities that are there i feel that gold would come down uh, to take uh, take them out okay because uh, uh, what i feel that there is possible a good amount of liquidity is due here so i i can expect gold could surely gonna come here only thing that we need to see how the price will react so we need to monitor the internal structure so internal break of internal structure uh, could be a sign that uh, we going to see uh, we going to uh, you know uh expect a breakout let's see let's go to the dates okay so you can see the gold is kind of taking support from this internal structure okay so why it is uh it is surely acting as a internal structure so we do need a clear break we need a strong break retest continuation break retest continuation okay uh, and what levels do we target break breaking below we can see the gold could come down to the 2600 level break above gold could target a 2700 mark because the next level is going to be the 2735 area and for the sell side it going to be the 2625 i guess i think it's a uh, what yeah yeah 2570 area so i think this right now we should be focusing on uh these two levels only and we should be focusing keeping things very simple we have our sell area we only going to look look for sell or buy continuation okay so this is what going to be the trade plan when the price will head here and look for buys or sell continuation okay so this is going to be our uh, our a plan once the price will reach uh, not much i'm looking right now inside uh, in between uh, 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 i'm not much uh, interested in between trade especially because of the uh, the range a character of uh, trend right now so uh, when the market moves sideways so uh, the best uh, uh, areas to trade uh, is going to be your high time frame uh, major uh, sells and buys so we should avoid trading in between to avoid being trapped so these are the two areas that i'm going to focus and the same time i would like to see a break and only after the break i'm going to look for a continuation so this is all the plan that i am having for the friday this is all i am expecting uh, uh for the gold movement uh, from for the next week uh if this helps you 
uh, uh, I'll be happy to making more videos, but I would really appreciate if you can leave your comment uh, and share this video with your friends or your fellow traders. So that is all from uh, this week's The Gold Forecast with Aditya. Make sure plan, uh, you plan your trade well, you plan your risk well, and happy trading. Bye-bye.